Hey, welcome. It's hey. Thursday night. Thursday night. The weeks go so fast. Oh man, do they ever. We are inside again tonight. We got swarmed by June bugs. Yeah. Got hit from every <laughs> direction. So we decided to stay inside tonight. So mm -hmm. welcome inside the Buckman house. And thank you for welcoming us into your home. Yes. And tonight um, we're in Acts chapter 23 and 24. Remember, if you have any questions, you can text it to 715-834-4078, 834-4078, or you can just post your questions in the comments below. So in chapter 23, verse 1, to 11, 1 through 11, Paul is before the Jewish Sanhedrin, and Ananias, the high priest, orders Paul to be slapped before the judgment was issued. And you know, a slap in the face, it says he slapped him across the mouth in his face. That is so demeaning and humiliating. That's about the worst you can do to somebody. Um, not the worst, but it is a very demeaning thing. Yeah. And Paul then calls him, you know, you whitewashed wall. These are the same words that Jesus used when he described the Pharisees, how on the outside they look good, but on the inside they were awful. But then in 4 and 5, verse 4 and 5, Paul is quick to apologize when he realizes that Ananias was the high priest because he shows respect for the leaders. No matter what, agree or not, if they're in the wrong or not, Paul had great respect for the leadership. Uh, I'll read verse 6 and 7. It says, Paul realized that some members of the high council were Sadducees and some were Pharisees. So he shouted, Brothers, I am a Pharisee, as were my ancestors, and I am on trial because my hope is in the resurrection of the dead. This is basically kind of a divide and conquer strategy because the Sadducees did not believe in life after death and the Pharisees did. But Paul's statement like this almost cost him his life, really. They, it says they literally were, he was almost torn apart by them. So that had to be pretty intense. Oh, and then in verse 11, it says that that night the Lord actually appeared to Paul and directs him, tells him to go to Rome, just like he had gone to Jerusalem to be a witness of Paul in Rome. And with everything that was ahead of Paul, what he was going to face, the hardships the, on, his road, on his road to Rome, he needed Jesus to speak to him that clearly and actually appear to him. Yeah, because he's facing, they're going to go through a horrible storm. Mm -hmm. He's going to spend a lot of years in jail. So he's going to need that assurance yes. that I'm on the right path. Mm -hmm. Our next section I call 40 Hungry Jews. <laughs> uh, some zealots come together and they say, we're not going to eat or drink until Paul's dead. And then they go to Ananias and say, can we have permission to kill him? Ananias could care less about zealots. He doesn't like zealots. In fact, the zealots are going to kill him. Uh, when Jerusalem burns, so mm. they are not close, but it's kind of like the enemy of that. My enemy is my friend. Mm. I hate Paul more than I hate you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and kill him. Mm. And so they make this vow, but how many know? Ananias knows, maybe some people in his court know, 40 people know. The more people that know a secret, it's not a secret anymore. And so Paul's nephew finds out about it. He works his way to prison and tells Paul. Paul sends him up to the head of the Rome. Roman guard, and he said, hey, these guys are going to kill me, and the Roman guard knows how to keep a secret. He says to the boy, don't tell anybody you came to tell me. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep the secret, and he puts together this huge squad of people, and 200 some people are going to go out, and they're going to transport Paul to, from this prison to another prison, uh, just trying to keep him safe so those 40 people can't kill him. And, and a question actually came into us tonight saying, what happened to those 40 hungry Jews, as you call them? <laughs> 40 hungry <laughs> Jews, yeah. Uh, three things. One of three things happened. Number one is they just, I'm going to eat. That was stupid. <laughs> you know, I'm going to eat. Number two is they kept their vow. Like the Bible says, you make a vow, you better keep it. They mm -hmm. starved to death. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they would have starved to death. They would have <laughs> died of thirst first because mm -hmm. they said not eat or drink. Third thing they could do is if you make a bad vow, go to the high priest. He can absolve you of the vow. They could have went back to Ananias and said, well, that didn't work. And he could have said, yeah, okay, you're free to go. Okay, so the head of the Romans is sending Paul with this letter. I, I got to read you just a line of the letter. And it said, uh, verse 27, chapter 23 
The man was seized by some Jews and they were about to kill him when I arrived with troops. When I learned he was a Roman citizen, I removed him to safety. Awesome line. If you remember yesterday, when he grabbed him, he was going to whip him to get a confession out of him. <laughs> he wasn't removing him to safety. He was going to beat him up. It's amazing how our side of the story always is, <laughs> you know, colored in our favor there. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I saved his life. Yeah, you saved his life. We were going to whip him thinking he was an Egyptian <laughs> that was leading a revolt. So I love that little mm -hmm. line. And I knew he was a Roman citizen, so we're all good. <laughs> so um, they send him before uh, this... Felix is where they're going, and Felix is the pilot of the day. We said that before. He's the Roman pilot of the day, and so here's the second trial. The first one was before the Jews. They almost tore him to Pete. This is peace, Pete. <laughs> Pieces. <laughs> this one's probably the first legitimate trial Paul's going to have, and Ananias shows up. The high priest arrived with some Jewish elders and lawyers. The lawyer is... I think How do you pronounce that? I would say Tertullus. I'm, I'm just guessing. Tertullus. I Jenny think. understands Jewish or culture so turtles. much better than it. Tertullus. 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 Her lawyer. Yeah, he, <laughs> I would say Tertullus. We do know this from history. He is a famous lawyer. And th this is like putting the dream team together. Let's get this guy. He hates Christianity. Okay, we know that. And he starts coming against him and talks to uh, the Felix, like, your excellency. And he calls it known as the Nazarenes. Jewish believers are called followers of the way or Nazarenes. Gentiles are called Christians. The Jewish people are not called Christians at this time. Because everybody that becomes born again is still Jewish. Mm -hmm. Jesus was Jewish. They just figured we're going to be Jewish and connect in that. And so this trial is a huge step in breaking Christianity and Judaism. Mm -hmm. They're they're kicking them out. These are Nazarenes. They're not Jewish. And so the Jews are doing the break between Christianity and Judaism. And so he declares his side of the case and just said, when you examine them, you're going to want them dead. We know that. Mm -hmm. And Felix actually allows Paul to speak rather than questioning him. Pilate questioned Jesus, you know, mm -hmm. are you the king of the Jews? Uh, what is truth? In verse 22, it said, Felix is very familiar with the way. Verse 22, it says, at, this, at that point, Felix, who was quite familiar with the way, adjourned the hearing. So Felix was very familiar with the way was, but Paul might not have known that at that yeah. time. Because Paul kind of shares his testimony of who he is. Mm -hmm. And remember, Ananias is there. And Ananias slapped him across the face just for saying a sentence. I love this. Because in verse 21, he said, I am here because I believe in the resurrection of the dead. It wouldn't surprise me if he looks right at Ananias when he says it. And Ananias mm -hmm. can't slap him in a Roman court. <laughs> so it's yeah. like, you, you slapped my face. <laughs> okay, I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> but now I'm going to say something. And Ananias goes, just <laughs> sitting there. So I, I think it's right there. And what are you going to do when you're in a Roman court? You know, absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So we do know Felix was uh, familiar with the way. And he kept going down and talking with Paul. And Paul kept talking him back, talked about faith. And he, he reasoned with him, talked about righteousness and self-control and the mm -hmm. coming judgment. Mm -hmm. Cause because he was familiar, he was probably asking good questions of Paul. Mm -hmm. And it says, look at this, Felix became frightened and said, go away for now. Mm -hmm. I'll call you when it's convenient. All right? I'll call you when it's convenient. Man. He's convicted, but doesn't mm. change. And the Bible said he wanted a bribe. Mm -hmm. He was hoping there'd be a bribe. You know, pay me off. Mm -hmm. We'll call this a deal. You know, just mm -hmm. give me some money. He had lots of people visiting him. Paul had a lot of people visiting him. And like I said, Felix was convicted. He didn't change. He Hopefully he changed. He's going to be moved to Pompeii. Mm. And if you know history, Pompeii is going to be destroyed by a volcano. Every chance in the world, Felix was there mm. when that happened. And so who knows what happened yeah, to sad. Felix. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And then the Bible says Paul literally stayed in prison, literally stayed in prison for two years. Mm. Can you imagine? When he was in Ephesus, he was there a little over two years and started seven churches, the mm. greatest church there. Now he's in prison. I wonder if he was depressed, and yet he had to lean back what God said to him. Right, yes, hold on to that vision. Mm. Yeah, that it is. But mm. something good, we're sitting here going, oh man, what a waste, two years. Mm -hmm. People came to visit Paul during that two years. Guess what happened? Luke was with him. You know what Luke did for that two years? Interviewed everybody. Mm. And he put together something for Theophilus called the Book of Luke. So we're sitting there going, what a waste of time. <laughs> he's there for two years. And while he's there for two years, we have the book of Luke. And we wouldn't have a Bible blitz without the book of Luke. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so we're good wow. that this was happening. So sometimes people, we feel, man, what's happening in my mm -hmm. life? I don't know if anything's happening. Can we encourage you? Mm -hmm. God is always doing something beyond what we can comprehend. Yes. Can we just learn to trust him? Mm -hmm. You know, put our hope and faith in him. Mm -hmm. Jenny, why don't you pray in that direction for us tonight? Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we would, we do pray, God, that we would trust you, Lord, with everything that we have in our God. Even in the days and the years that seem we don't know why we're here or what's happening, Lord, that we would look up, that we would continually look up, look into your word and look up to you, Jesus, and that we would realize and believe, God, that everything that happens is part of your plan for each of us, Jesus. Help us to be faithful in just fulfilling the call and purpose, the individual call and purpose you have for each one of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for just everything that you do and you are. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, you feel like you're in prison? <laughs> he was there for two years. We've been here for 11 weeks. Mm -hmm. God's doing the work, isn't he? Mm -hmm. This Sunday, uh, we have a streaming service at 9. And then at 1045, we have our parking lot service. The restrictions for outside are really easy. Feel free to bring a chair. Yeah. Sit outside your cars. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's supposed to be a nice day. We have guest speaker. Yes. Connie and Bill Wilson will be here from Israel. Mm -hmm. going to have a word for us. We're excited. Yeah, we really mm -hmm. are. So it's going to be good. Pentecost Sunday mm -hmm. and the end of our Bible Blitz. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for joining us. You have a good night. You're supposed to be going to bed now. So good night. Good night. <laughs> good night. Bye.